couple of weeks ago, I finished my PhD. Okay, well, good morning, everyone. It's my real pleasure to welcome you here for the thesis defense of Ali Caldwell, one of the founding members of my lab. Um, I first met Ali a few years ago when she was interviewing for graduate school, and I distinctly remember her from the interviews and kind of thinking afterwards, I really hope she's interested in astrocytes and wants to join my lab. It took six years of reading, thinking, researching, and experimenting to get here, along with lots of sweat, tears, and sometimes literal blood. It was a lot of hard work, but it was absolutely worth it. So I'm not going to talk too much about Ali's project because she'll tell you about that herself. I just want to kind of point out to you something that she won't tell you is how much work this was. We've often joked and talked about how all of her findings are enough for multiple PhDs. She's worked out a new cell culture system, she's worked out what wild type astrocytes, normal astrocytes normally do for neurons, and she's also worked out how things are changing in different neurodevelopmental disorders. Not just one change, but multiple changes. For the longest time, I couldn't share my data with anyone. But on August 21st, 2019, I had my dissertation defense, where I finally got to present my findings to my mentors, peers, friends, family, and most importantly, my committee. Today, she's gonna to tell you all about her work. Moving forward, she's not really going very far. She's staying here at UCSD to do a science communication fellowship, which really fits perfectly with her deep understanding of science and also commitment to educating the public and getting the message out there. So with that, I'm just gonna hand over to Ali and she can tell you about her work. Thank you, Nicola, for that wonderful introduction. I really appreciate it. And thank you to all of you for being here today. My talk today is titled Astrocytes, A New Hope, Identifying Astrocyte-Secreted Protein Factors Linked to Altered Neuronal Development in Neurodevelopmental Disorders. <laughs> if the champagne popping isn't obvious enough, I passed. Shake it up, yeah, <laughs> like NASCAR. <laughs> so that's Dr. Astrocyte to you. But I didn't start here, no, no. Once all the research was done and the results were in, I still had to write the dang dissertation. This is that journey. Let's go. Check in. Hello. How's the writing going? Good. First day of really writing. How far are you? How Ready. far am I? Yeah. <laughs> Not very. I've written seven pages. How long will this be when it's done? Um, my lab mates was about 150 pages. 150. That's, that's a lot of pages. Yeah. So do you think you'll hit 150 pages? I mean, at the rate I'm going, yeah. I'm still finishing up a couple of experiments. I'm going to be doing that for the next couple of weeks while I start writing and then probably beginning at the beginning of July, which is about a week and a half from now, I'll be writing basically full time, so. So you're still doing some of these experiments that are gonna end up in your dissertation at the end? Y yeah, there's actually so much to talk about, like so much that I could include and discuss. So I think the harder part will be like, how do I make sure my focus is narrow and like get done what I need to get done. So how many days do you have to finish this? That's a good question. My goal is to have a draft done by August 2nd. So one, two, so 40 days. 40 days. Like Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not like Jesus. <laughs> the Jesus of dissertations. No. <laughs> well, better get working. I, I will. I'll leave you alone. Thanks. Ah. All right, so why are we toasting today? Because today I finished analyzing my last experiment Woo! for my dissertation. This was like the last, like adding the last pair of samples to an analysis I've been doing for the last few months, and they supported the results that I wanted, so that's exciting. Yeah, so having a beer, celebrating a little bit, and then tonight I'm gonna work on finishing a draft of the introduction for my dissertation. So you're feeling good? Getting there, yeah, it's weird. I mean, this week is probably gonna be my last week in the lab full time. So it'll be, it'll definitely be an adjustment. I mean, both that I'll be working at home alone a lot of the time for the next month and a half. Mm -hmm. um, 
but also that it'll be the first time in my entire adult life that I will not be doing science as my job anymore. So weird. that'll be very weird. Are you sad about that? I am to some degree. I mean, like my dream job would be if I could do like 20 hours a week of science and 20 hours a week of like science writing and media producing, but they don't really make jobs like that. Well, congrats on finishing your experiments for your dissertation. Thanks. Cheers. Cheers. How's the dissertating going? Going. How long is your introduction? 15 pages. Wow. It's pretty long. That's just the introduction to the whole dissertation. It doesn't include the introductions to the individual chapters. Each chapter will have its own introduction. Oh, yikes. Most of the background work I did was focused on astrocytes and synapse formation, because that's most of what my lab does. But actually, all of my experiments have been on astrocyte influence on neuronal outgrowth, not on synapse, synapse formation. So I'm just brushing up on the backgrounds there. Gotcha. And making sure that my dissertation makes it clear that this is a good reason to ask this question. It's actually really, really important to contextualize the questions that I'm asking. Mm -hmm. so it's really important to justify why my approach and the methods I've developed are not only like valid for the experiments, but also actually better models mm -hmm. for the experiments I'm conducting versus other um, protocols that are out there. Mm -hmm. So on a scale from one to 10, where one is the worst and 10 is the best, how are you feeling about your dissertation right now? Or 10 is the best? Yeah. Probably like an eight and a half. That's pretty good. Like I feel pretty good about it, but I also know there's still a lot of work to be done. So we'll see, let's check in in a week and see how I feel. <laughs> I have a month. A month to figure out how it goes. Yep. All right. So we'll Let's see. see. Cool. Bye. <laughs> so, how's it going? Um, pretty good. How far along are you now? Uh, I have written drafts of everything. Wow. My dissertation is a total of four data chapters, an introduction, a conclusion, and a methods chapter. So okay. seven chapters. Yeah. So I did, the last couple days I did edits on the first through fourth chapters. I'm trying to finish the fifth chapter today. Tomorrow morning I will do the sixth chapter, which is the conclusions, which is the easy one, because that's just the one where I postulate and bloviate. Yeah, bloviate for a while on all the cool things that could be done with this work. And how many pages have you written? 237. Whoa. That's a lot of pages. Yes. That's that's a whole book. A lot of those pages are references. Okay. It's so like I've written like 200 pages. That's still a lot. I'm guessing this is the longest paper you've ever written in school. Yeah. So how are you feeling about where you're at? Pretty good. I mean, it's it's a lot to be doing all at once because in addition to doing this, we're also getting ready to move next true. week. True. Um, the walls are so bare. It'll be nice to have it done and to not be worrying about it anymore. I also have have to start putting together my presentation for my defense. That's mm. a pretty big part of this yeah. whole thing. So that's like a PowerPoint, right? Essentially. Yeah. Okay. It's a slide deck. So it's basically going to be like all the data that's in here, but built into slides, and then I'll publicly present it. Yeah. And then well, get to presenting and packing. And packing. Well, good work so far. Keep it up. Yep. All right, so today is August 9th, uh, and I am getting ready to send my dissertation to my committee. I felt really good about the process. I felt really good about my writing. I think that it actually makes me feel better about my work to have written everything up, just because it made me realize how much I've done. I'm just really excited to, to get to share with everybody and to present for my committee and my family in just a couple weeks. But I'm just gonna get this sent this morning and then um, gonna go to lab, do some work, and then tomorrow we move. So um, I'll show you what I have and then uh, I'll get it sent. I've been using Dropbox to store all of my dissertation files just to make sure that nothing would ever be lost if anything were to happen to my computer either here or in lab. It also has let me work on stuff in lab and at home. Here's my folder of what I am sending to my committee today. So I have my full dissertation text, um, my preliminary pages title and copyright, as well as supplemental tables of some of my data. And the full dissertation um, is pretty long, so. Uh, here we go. 
There's a lot of pages here. A lot of figures. And then 224 pages was the final number, so. Send one, send two, send three, and send four. And there we go. All sent to my committee, so uh, I guess we will see how they feel about it. But now I'm gonna do some packing and go to lab and do some lab work. So I guess we'll see what they say. But unfortunately, my time here is done. I've been here for six years and I need to go. So that will be someone else's, someone else's dissertation project. And now I would just like to thank all of you for being here, for taking the time today. I need to thank my lab, um, particularly Nicola, for helping me develop a project that I have really loved working on. I also want to thank my biological family as well as my husband's wonderful family for their support during this time and before. They've always supported all of my aspirations and uh, really helped me get here today. I especially want to thank my grandfather, who's no longer with us, but is the reason I became a scientist. And I'd like to thank my husband for being an amazing person an amazing partner for always going on adventures with me and not batting an eye when I told him that I wanted to move to San Diego two weeks after our wedding. <laughs> and with that, I will take any questions. So, there you have it. I made it through. I'm proud of my dissertation and graduate school experience, and I love the research I've worked on these last five years. I'm thankful to my friends and family for supporting me, and I'm thankful to all of you for being along for the journey as I grew as a scientist, as a communicator, and most importantly, as a person.